Hi guys, Vanessa here. So today we are going to be talking about the new Auric Glow Lust. So this is the new uh, makeup line by Samantha Ravendahl. If you don't know who Samantha Ravendahl is, then... Anyways, she is here on YouTube and she came out with her new makeup line. This is the Glow Lust. Um, so we are going to test her out because I hear she's beautiful. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so jumping right in into the product, this is what the packaging looks like. So this is the brand Auric by Samantha Ravendahl here on YouTube. I got my Glow Lust in the shade Selenite. Selenite. And then this is what the bottle looks like. The bottle is very like Marc Jacobs, very luxury packaging. You can see the detail on the cap right here. And then you have these nice like divots on the sides. I did hear that she created the bottle having a really tight seal um, because she wanted to make sure that the product would last pretty long, which you definitely feel the nice tight um, seal on this bottle. So this bottle has, what does it have? It has 1.18 fluid ounce of product. So that's a lot of product for a product like this because it's going to last you a really long time. So let's jump right in. I love that the pump is very nice. Um, it's really nice to um, handle the product. So we're going to try this out with a beauty sponge and apply it right to the skin. I feel like normally I would um, combine this with my foundation for the daily wear, but I want to see what it looks like just on the skin. Wow. Really nice and glowy. I saw only Samantha Ravendahl's um, YouTube video because I kind of didn't want to spoil the product for myself. This is my first time trying it. I heard on her video how she didn't use um, a lot of mica product. And what mica does is kind of um, show that like silvery glow. It has more like a silver reflect versus something that's just glowy. So I do like that. Um, I did do a JLo, um, I think it's the Luminizer. I think it's called, yeah, it's just a Luminizer by JLo. That one I noticed it had a lot of silver sheen to it, but it didn't really appear under my foundation. So I didn't end up like really liking it. I compared it to the Rare Beauty one. But that one I can definitely see what she was talking about, the mica being in the product because in that JLo, uh, glow product, you do see the silver sheen on the skin. So this doesn't have that. This I'm noticing, I'm just getting a nice, very hydrated, glowy finish. See what I'm talking about? You're just getting that nice glow to the skin. Um, so this product, you can use it with your foundation. You can use it on top of the foundation as just like on top as a spot highlight. You can use it like I am, even I've seen people just say that they apply it almost like a foundation, so they use it just alone. And honestly, this product is very special, I'd say, because I'm noticing that it's evening out the skin tone. It has a light, you can see my skin through the um, glow lust but you can definitely see that it's evening my skin tone. So it's taking away any redness you may have. So I do like that. Okay, so I finished applying the Glow Lust all over the skin and things are looking really glowy, um, but I do like the way that my skin looks. As you can see, it doesn't have um, so much of that silver reflect. In person, it has more like a, I wanna say like a golden, it could be that this it's this shade selenite, but it has like more of a very net neutral golden glow versus a silver glow that's a little bit more um not so natural is what I'm getting at. So in this glow less, it does come in seven shades, so I do like that it was all kind of inclusive. It goes from very fair to even deeper of skin tones. So that was really nice that she was able to create that. For being a glow lust, it's not a foundation, it's just a uh, glowy product. So this is going to be something that you just add 
glow within your foundation, like I mentioned earlier, and also something to highlight with, which we will get to in just a second. I'm going to apply my foundation. I'm going in with my favorite Rare Beauty. This is more like a very satin, not quite matte foundation. And since I know how this foundation looks and it's one of my favorites, I'm going to use this for today with this product. So I'm going to apply my foundation and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I have yet to put any foundation on my forehead, but right off the bat, I wanted to come back on here and let you guys know what my thoughts are as I'm applying my foundation. So, like I mentioned, on my forehead, I hope you can tell on camera, but I don't have any foundation yet. I only went in on the cheeks and the rest of the face. I'm noticing that I'm not having to apply so much foundation for coverage. It's the weirdest thing because, like I was saying, this glowy uh this glow lust is almost evening my skin tone before i even um go in with my foundation so i'm noticing i'm using less foundation because i already have a pretty much even complexion with the glow lust it evened everything out it took away any redness so i'm noticing that i'm not having to apply so much foundation since that product already since I already evened out my complexion and took away any redness, which is really nice. Like, look at that. I just went in with one sweep of foundation, blended it out, and I got nice coverage. I am looking very dewy. Like I mentioned earlier, I wouldn't be applying it all over the face, I think, for the normal day. I think I would probably just be applying my squirt of my glow lust and then put in my foundation on the hand swirl it up and then apply it with the beauty blender but i do want to show you guys what it looks like on the skin another benefit of her not putting so much mica on the product is besides the whole silver unnatural sheen is that i like that this doesn't emphasize texture for me i know where i personally um struggle with texture it's usually around my nose so i have to use like a exfoliant cleanser but a lot of texture I have around the nose and I'm not noticing that I have any emphasis on the nose. Even around the cheekbones, most of us have like little bumps. I'm not noticing that I have any texture really like peeking through the product. So in that aspect, I am really enjoying this product. Let me go ahead and finish the face and then we'll play with her a little bit. And then I'll tell you my final thoughts. Okay, guys, so I am back from applying my makeup. I did a quick um, eye, and then I just went in with my lip gloss by Artist Couture in the shade. This is this is in the shade Shameless. So I wanted to go back in and play with the Glow Lust one more time. This is like taking it up and above and beyond with the glow because, as you can see, my skin is very glowier at this point. <laughs> Um, but this is for the sake of the video and to test out this product. So, so I really like this, uh, product. I think this is actually one of my favorite luminizers I've tried. So just first impressions, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> but so I went in with bronzer, but I want to apply this on the cheek. So I'm going to go in with a little dab like that. And I want to apply it on the cheek as a highlight. This is, again, taking it up there. It's taking it there, you know? <laughs> but let's see. Oh. oh, yeah. And I applied bronzer, and you would think that it would kind of get kind of weird. This thing is like magic. Do you guys see that? This is awesome. Oh. oh, this is amazing. Oh yeah. This is like the perfect shade for me. Also, I want to mention because it's coming off so natural. So natural, but yet so like glowy. So there, it's very pigmented. It definitely has that wow factor. And if you weren't having all this glow all over the face, um, you can definitely even go like this above like the temples and then 
Maybe I'm going to do a little highlight around the nose. Oh, she did that. I like this. I really like this. This is probably one of my favorite luminizers I've tried to date. So that's just my first impressions. Let me go in with my blush now. I was scared of going with blush earlier because we had that liquid product. Yeah, I'm really trying to see it in like my magnified mirror to see if I have any like emphasis texture. I'm not noticing any emphasis on my texture. Um, sometimes you can really see a lot of texture with these kind of products and I don't notice that. So that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Honestly, Samantha Ravendahl did that. Like, sh I feel like this product's very well thought. From the packaging, feeling very luxurious, very heavy, very heavy. The frosted bottle, it gives me like Marc Jacobs vibes a lot. Um, a lot of the reason being because of how heavy, how luxe the bottle. Um, but she really thought of everything as far as even the packaging being very nice and tight. You don't have the worry if you're taking this product like anywhere with you of it spilling um, and getting all over the place because that's the worst is you wasting any product when you find your bag having all your makeup in it um, that, that has leaked. So honestly, I have nothing bad to say. This product is really, really nice. Um, it's really well thought out. I feel like she thought about the not only the packaging, how it how it closes, a pump, you have a nice pump. It's it's not silver. I, I like that. I like that it's very natural. I like that there it's very multi-purpose, so you can do many things with it. Um I really have nothing bad to say. This is something I'm gonna be using a lot. A lot. Um, that's all I'm going to say on that. But yeah, that concludes today's video. Um, I hope this video was helpful and kind of gave you some insight um, on the product and what my thoughts are. I hope you guys enjoyed. So that is it for me today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed um, me reviewing my thoughts on this new makeup line by Samantha named Auric. I can't wait to see what else she comes out with in this um, beauty line. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed me reviewing um, new products such as these and don't forget to also subscribe to my channel because of course there will be more content coming out your way. So love you guys. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!